You've probably seen it before. But what does it mean? And why do you have to use them? Is an article from Time Magazine scholarly? How do you know if something is peer-reviewed? Scholarly articles exist to allow researchers to communicate with one another about their research. Your professors are experts in a specific field and study, such as history, and likely specialized in an even more specific area within it, such as Eleanor of Aquitaine's imprisonment. Professors have studied for years to become experts in their field, and the way they do so is to create a dialogue with other scholars of similar disciplines. Academic journals and scholarly articles are formalized ways that scholars share their ideas with one another. As a scholar in training, you are learning to consume and synthesize scholarly information. This is why your professors want you to read and use scholarly articles. Your writing and research should reflect the kind of communication scholars engage in, which involves understanding what related research has already been done and how those scholars came to their conclusions. Basically, peer review is a process that makes an article scholarly. Have you ever had an English class where you exchange a paper with someone else and you give each other comments and critiques? Well, it's pretty similar to that. A researcher writes an article, and before it can be published in a scholarly journal, it needs to be sent to the researcher's peers, meaning other researchers and experts in the field, to be looked over and critiqued. The peer review process makes sure that every article that gets the scholarly stamp of approval meets certain standards. Popular articles in magazines, and this includes informative magazines such as Time, do not go through this rigorous process. Journalists usually only have to go through their editor before their article gets published. Usually, popular magazines are meant to inform or entertain a general audience, while scholarly journals are meant to publish original research and present it to other scholars. This doesn't mean a popular article is wrong or has bad information, it just means that it hasn't gone through the process that makes it scholarly, but it might still be useful in a different context. How do you find a scholarly article? If you're using a library database, a lot of the time you just need to check a box to limit your search. Here it is in Academic Search Complete and an Academic One file, and here it is in a ProQuest database. Some databases, like Medline, do not have this box, so if you're really unsure if what you're reading is peer-reviewed, copy the name of the journal that the article is in. Then head over to the library website and look at Ulrich's Web. Ulrich's Web is a journal directory that tells you if the journal you're reading is peer-reviewed. Paste the name of the journal into the search box. The referee shirt tells you it's peer-reviewed, or you can go into the record, look under additional title details, and see if the journal is peer-reviewed. If you're still unsure, or just need help finding articles, you can always ask a librarian.